The waters of Niagara Falls roared, their thunderous sound echoing through the air, a testament to nature's raw power and beauty. A woman stood at the edge, her silhouette stark against the misty backdrop of the falls, the weight of the world seemingly on her shoulders. Her two small children by her side, their innocent faces unaware of the turmoil within their mother. Her name was Chianti Means. She was a mother, a nurturer, and a protector. Her love for her children was evident in every photograph, every smile. A daughter who brought joy to her parents. A friend who was always there in times of need. Chianti was cherished by many. And yet, in a moment of unimaginable despair, a darkness that clouded her mind, she made a tragic decision. She jumped, taking her children, nine-year-old Roman and five-month-old Mecca with her, into the abyss below. The world watched in horror as the news spread like wildfire. How could this happen? How could a mother, so full of love, reach such a point of no return? The community gathered, holding candles in a somber vigil, trying to make sense of the senseless, to find solace in each other's company. Experts spoke about the importance of mental health, the silent battles many face, and the need for support and understanding. Family photos showed happier times, moments of joy and laughter, now tinged with the sorrow of what could have been. Life moved on, as it always does, but the memory of Chianti and her children remained, a poignant reminder of the fragility of the human spirit. The waterfall continued to flow, relentless and unchanging, much like the passage of time. But for those who knew Chianti, time stood still, forever marked by that fateful day. As the sun rose over Niagara Falls, a new day began, bringing with it a glimmer of hope, a chance for healing, and a promise to remember and honor those lost. Chianti Means wasn't a stranger. She was a mother, a friend, and a beacon of hope for many. She had a face, a name, a life. Her days were filled with the laughter of her children and the warmth of her community. She worked as a domestic violence counselor. Every day, she listened to the stories of those who had been hurt, offering them a path to safety and healing. She dedicated her days to helping others escape pain. Her phone was always ringing, her office always open, her heart always ready to give. But behind her smile, Chianti was hurting. The weight of the stories she heard, the pain she witnessed, it all took a toll on her. Her social media told a story of heartbreak, posts filled with sorrow, cryptic messages that hinted at her inner turmoil. She spoke of feeling broken, of carrying heavy burdens, her words were a cry for help, a plea for someone to see her pain. Her words, a haunting reminder that even those who seem the strongest can be struggling the most. That we never truly know the battles fought behind closed doors, the silent struggles, the unseen tears, the battles fought behind closed doors. Chianti's story is a poignant reminder of the importance of reaching out, of checking in on those we care about even when they seem okay. The investigation continues. Authorities are piecing together the events leading to that tragic day. What led Chianti to the edge? What drove a mother to such a desperate act? We may never have all the answers, but we must seek understanding. We must acknowledge the silent suffering that affects so many. Mental health struggles don't discriminate. They can affect anyone regardless of age, race, or background. They hide in plain sight, behind smiles and forced laughter. We must learn to recognize the warning signs, changes in behavior, withdrawal, expressions of hopelessness. These are cries for help. We must listen, we must act. 
Section 5, Mental Health. A shared responsibility. Mental health is health. It's time to treat it with the same urgency as physical health. We need increased funding for mental health services. We need accessible and affordable care for all. This is a shared responsibility. Government, healthcare providers, communities, and individuals must work together. Section six, breaking the stigma, building bridges. The stigma surrounding mental health keeps people silent. It prevents them from seeking the help they desperately need. It's time to break the stigma. Talk about mental health openly. Share your stories. Listen without judgment. Offer support and encouragement. Building bridges of understanding can save lives. Section 7. Resources for hope and healing. You are not alone. There is hope. There is help. If you are struggling, please reach out. The National Suicide Prevention Lifeline. 988. The Crisis Text Line. Text HOME to 741. 741. These resources provide confidential support 24-7. You don't have to suffer in silence. Section 8. Supporting each other, saving lives. We can all be part of the solution. Every single one of us has the power to make a positive impact in the lives of those around us. It starts with simple actions like reaching out to someone who might be struggling, offering a shoulder to lean on, or just being there to listen without judgment. Check in on your loved ones. Offer a listening ear. Be patient and understanding. Sometimes all it takes is a kind word or a gentle touch to let someone know they are not alone. In our fast-paced world, it's easy to overlook the signs of someone in distress, but taking a moment to connect can make all the difference. Small acts of kindness can make a world of difference. Whether it's helping a neighbor with their groceries, volunteering at a local shelter, or simply smiling at a stranger, these gestures can brighten someone's day and remind them that they are valued. Let's create a world where seeking help for mental health is not a sign of weakness, but a sign of strength. It's important to break the stigma surrounding mental health and encourage open conversations. By doing so, we can create a supportive environment where everyone feels safe to seek the help they need. Let's honor the memory of Chianti, Roman, and Mecca by fighting for a future where tragedies like this are preventable. Their stories remind us of the importance of community and the impact we can have when we come together. By advocating for better mental health resources and support systems, we can work towards a future when no one has to suffer in silence. Together, we can make a difference. When we unite as a community, we can create a ripple effect of positivity and change. Let's commit to supporting each other, spreading kindness, and building a world where everyone feels seen, heard, and valued. Our collective efforts can lead to a brighter, more compassionate future for all.